Hand cannons just got a massive buff that increased their damage and PvE. So I'm gonna go over the best hand cannons you should be using because these things are OP. Starting with great hand cannons and going up to the perfect hand cannon. This first hand cannon has a ton of great rolls that make it amazing for ad clear. Posterity. This is an arc hand cannon that gets Volt Shot in the first column. Volt Shot is one of the best perks in the game, giving you chain lightning whenever you get a kill and then reload. This actually applies the Jolt effect, so it can even activate certain abilities on arc subclasses. And because it gets Volt Shot in the first column, you can still run a damage perk in the second. And this has some really good ones. First up is Frenzy, a 15% damage buff and faster reload speed while in combat. It's almost always active, so it's basically a passive damage buff, and because Volt Shot requires reloading, having the faster reload speed from this will allow you to shock things more often. The other good damage perk is Rampage. Kills give you a stacking damage buff up to 33%. It's not as easy to keep up all the time, but you're getting more damage out of it. So here are the rolls I would look for. Volt Shot plus Frenzy. This makes it a monster in low-level content where you can one-shot the enemies with Jolt Lightning, but also higher in content where you have a constant damage buff in addition to the Jolt effect. And Reconstruction plus Rampage is really good for low and mid-tier content where you can easily get kills and maintain your Rampage buff. And Reconstruction helps with that by doubling your magazine size and reloads it over time so you spend less time reloading. You can get this hand cannon from the Deepstone Crypt raid and it can be crafted to get enhanced perks. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of the video for a way to farm for this as a solo player. Up next is another arc hand cannon, but this time it gets even more explosions. In the first column, we really only have one good option for PvE, Dragonfly. Precision kills with Dragonfly cause enemies to explode, dealing damage to everything around them. Then in the second column, we have four amazing options. Once again, Volt Shot to create Chain Lightning, as well as Kill Clip, Explosive Payload, or Golden Tricorn for more damage. So the most interesting role here is Dragonfly and Volt Shot to get some massive AoE damage. But unfortunately, it's not really that good. Both perks are fighting for the kill, and since you don't have a reload perk for Volt Shot, it takes longer to prep that perk. So instead of that, I recommend Dragonfly with Explosive Payload for a very reliable hand cannon that has really good ad clear. You could also go with Dragonfly and Kill Clip to be able to get a kill, reload to get more damage, and then have an easier time killing things. But whatever you decide to go with, this thing is amazing. This hand cannon is from the Last Wish raid, and just like Posterity, it can be crafted and you can farm for these using a trick I'll show at the end of the video. But if you're going for the Dragonfly Kill Clip roll, you don't have to farm for it, because there's actually an exotic that does the same thing, but better. Ace of Spades. This has Firefly, which is similar to Dragonfly. Precision kills will create a solar explosion and give you faster reload speed. This also has a perk called Memento Mori, it's basically a better version of Kill Clip, where you get a kill, then reload, and the next six shots will have a damage buff. It's more damage than Kill Clip, and it's not tied to a timer. And because of the catalyst, the Firefly explosions will scale with Memento Mori, giving you more explosive damage. And because this is an exotic, it will do a lot more damage to red bar enemies, so this thing is a monster. Now, the way you get this is simply by going to the exotic kiosk in the tower and purchasing it for one exotic cipher, one ascendant shard, and some other stuff. This next hand cannon is amazing with stasis. AS Luna. This is a stasis hand cannon, so it gets access to headstone. Precision kills create a stasis crystal. You can then shoot the crystal to create an explosion, but this becomes really powerful when you pair it with a few stasis fragments. Like Whisper of Rending, where you can one-shot the crystals or Whisper of Fissures, where the burst is larger and deals more damage. Or Whisper of Shards, where you can get faster grenade energy when you break a crystal. And there are also aspects like Ice Flare Bolts and Tectonic Harvest that put this on a new level. This does get access to other damage perks like Kill Clip and Harmony, but let's be honest, you want this for Headstone. Now, what's the best thing to pair with Headstone? You could go with Outlaw or Rapid Hit to get faster reload speed, but my favorite is something a little bit different. I actually prefer Unrelenting. Rapidly defeating targets activates health regen. So it turns out the stasis crystals created by Headstone count as kills from AS Luna. So all of the stasis kills you get will activate Unrelenting, giving you a ton of healing every few seconds. Now the way you get this is from the final encounter of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon, and conveniently I have a guide right here on how to complete the entire dungeon completely solo. When I think of great hand cannons, the first thing that comes to mind is the original best hand cannon. Ever since Vanilla Destiny 1, 
Fatebringer has been a powerhouse. This gets many great perks, but the most popular role is Explosive Payload and Firefly. So basically the Nation of Beasts I mentioned earlier, but kinetic. Explosive Payload to give you a slight damage increase, and Firefly to have an AoE explosion after precision kills. But if you want something for higher level content where Firefly will do next to nothing, you can always go with a damage perk. This gets three different damage perks, and they're all good in their own ways. Kill Clip gives you more damage by reloading after kills. Adrenaline Junkie will give you more damage from grenade kills or kills of this weapon. Really good for grenade focus builds. Or Frenzy for a 15% damage buff while you're in combat for an extended period of time. Great for Nightfalls, since this will constantly be active. The two roles I enjoy most are Explosive Payload with Firefly for low level content, and Explosive Payload Frenzy for high level content. Now, the way you get this is from the Vault of Glass raid, specifically the Templar and Gatekeeper encounters, as well as the secret chest once you've unlocked it in collections. I know a lot of the other weapons on this list create explosions, but I mean this when I say this next hand cannon is the king of explosions, Sunshot. This is the only remaining 150 hand cannon in the game, meaning it's just as good as 140s, but it shoots faster. On top of that, it has explosive rounds, and anything killed by Sunshot will explode on death, precision kill or not. Then this explosion will chain, so anything killed by the explosion will also explode, and then anything killed by that will explode too, and that chain will keep going until everything is dead. There's also a legendary version of this that's not quite as good, but it's pretty dang close. That is, of course, Zauli's Bane. This is another solar hand cannon that gets explosive payload for a slight damage boost, as well as a bunch of damage options. But to turn it into Sunshot's little brother, you're going to need massive explosions. And you can do that with two perks. Firefly for that solar explosion on precision kills, or Incandescent to apply Scorch to everything nearby when you get a kill. I prefer Incandescent because it has a ton of synergy with solar subclass fragments like Ember of Singeing, Ember of Ashes, Ember of Searing, and a bunch of others. This hand cannon comes from the last two encounters of the King's Fall raid, and it can be crafted to get enhanced Incandescent, which makes this amazing. This next hand cannon can melt raid bosses and takes out champions with ease. You probably already know I'm talking about Malfeasance. This is a 180 hand cannon that creates taken explosions every 5 shots. These explosions will stun unstoppable champions, and they deal a surprising amount of damage. Malfeasance also gets a catalyst that gives it Vorpal Weapon, making it deal 20% more damage to all bosses. This makes it easily the best hand cannon to deal with champions, and like I said earlier, it can even melt raid bosses but you're going to have to set it up for that. So you're first going to need three kinetic weapon surges to give you 22% more damage while you have armor charges. Then you need lucky pants. This will significantly increase the damage of your hand cannons for 10 seconds after you pull it out, giving you an additional 600% damage at 10 stacks. Throw in something like well of radiance and a debuff and you can melt raid bosses with just your primary weapon. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can farm for most of the raid weapons on this list completely solo just by going out of bounds to unlock secret chests, but you're going to have to watch this video to see how to do that. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.